Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mr. Rice here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the E3, and I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background, but that's not a big deal. Let's just get into the talk about E3. Um, I was excited as fuck for this game, or this E3, rather. E3 was probably one of the best ones I've seen um, in a long time. It's been a while since I've seen a really, really all-around well performance from E3. Um, yeah, and like, let's just get right into it. I mean, let's talk about Bethesda. They fucking released Fallout 4. And like the trailer, um, they talked a little bit about the game, about how there's going to be like a... A lot of customization going into like the guns and also creating your own like fortress slash shelter. That was freaking sick. Um, yeah. So and being at their first ever E3 conference and everything, they fucking came out swinging and started E3 E3 off with a bang. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. That was that. And then next, let's talk a little bit about some Microsoft. What Microsoft did this year. Um, they had a lot better conference, I guess you could say, than last year, in my eyes at least. They are able to talk about and say how they are now going to be backwards compatible with a 360. That's awesome. Um, I enjoy playing my 360 games, and I'm fucking, I want to play them on my one. <laughs> Gives me a reason to actually take out my Xbox One. I haven't touched it in like two years, so yeah. Um, they showed Fallout 4 again, and then they also had Halo 5 which I'm hoping doesn't bust the way that um, the Master Chief Collection did, because that was shitty. Yeah. And also the Microsoft Lens. That was... Or not the Microsoft Lens. It was the HoloLens, excuse me. That was fucking crazy. It was like you were able to play a fucking game on your table and shit and, like, be chill about it. That was awesome. Um, they also released Gears of War 4 in a beta, but I'm not really too excited about that. Too much, at least. Um, also, that was there at E3, was EA. And normally they kind of just been lackluster, just um, video games such as like the FIFA, the Madden 16, FIFA 16. But they also had the Star Wars Battlefront multiplayer trailer. <sighs> I was like a kid in the candy shop, dude. That, that thing was awesome. I absolutely loved that. Um, they did it in like Hoth or whatever, and oh my god, that shit looks sexy as fuck. Um, you can change between first person and third person. The you saw um, in the trailer, they showed off the Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker. Um, the the ability, like you know, like how massive it's gonna be because there's like the AT and T walkers, um, the X wings, all that shit. Like it, it's gonna be a great game, and I'm definitely going to buy that. Um, Ubisoft, um, the biggest thing from them, well, they made Assassin's Creed, like, 29. Yeah, so, I'm not really, I don't care about Assassin's Creed anymore. Uh, Tom Clancy games, if you're really into those, they, they released a lot of those. I think it was, like, three of them. Those looked alright, but I'm not really a big fan of them. And then, the biggest one for me was the new South Park game. Um, I watched a lot of people play a Let's Play with the South Park Stick of Truth. That thing was tight. It was awesome. The only thing bad about it was the combat system. Wasn't really a big fan of that, but, you know, what you gonna do? Um, but the actual, like, the, the storytelling of the game and everything else, the, it was fucking amazing. It was really good for, like, their their first, like, cool big game. And then the, the team that really, like, kind of took it all for me was Sony. Sony did an amazing job this year. Like, they, they released so many great games. And not only that, but it was just, like, my favorite game, or hopefully what will be my favorite game for a long time to come, No Man's Sky, um, was, they, they showed it, and I was ecstatic, just showing how massive, showing people how massive the worlds can be, or worlds, world, I say worlds, but it's literally a universe, it's infinitesimal almost to a, to a degree of what you can do in that game, um, it's one of the, it's, it's gonna be awesome, um, definitely gonna pick that game up i'm so hyped for a fucking no man's guy uh yeah there there's not enough i can talk about that was probably the biggest thing just because i'm a, just a giddy boy about that shit um no man's guy will blow my roof away um i'm excited uh i cannot wait yeah just even talking about it right now i'm just oh my god i love that uh anyways moving on um 
They also showed the Black Ops 3 trailer, the multiplayer trailer, and that looked pretty clean. Um, I talked a little bit about it with my friend. We looked at the perk system, the point system, and nothing looks too overpowered. I saw one thing, it's like headshots. If you get headshots, you get, like, you do more damage when you hit them in the head. And, like, a little bit of the special abilities, but after watching some multiplayer, um, like, actual live, live action from some pl um, actual Call of Duty players, it doesn't look that bad at all. Um, <laughs> MLG is now moving to PlayStation 3. That was kind of strange, too. Um, you know, do what you want, I guess, with that. And, yeah, and I think the last, like, final thing, Nintendo had a good show with the Super Mario Maker. They also released, like, some new Zelda games, which I was cool. Oh, and they had Star Fox Zero. That shit looks clean. I was, I'm ready for that shit. I don't know. I need to pick up a Wii U at some point in my life just to play those. And then finally, it was like the Square Enix conference, as well as the PC gaming show. Um, the biggest one from Square for me was uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I just watched the trailer, and that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for that. Um, and it's on the Xbox One, which makes it even better. Um, also, for PC gaming, um, it was kind of just like a lot of just random specs and stuff, so I wasn't really too excited about it um the biggest thing from them from me was just the fact that no man's sky is going to be released at the same time on pc as well as console which is good for me um because I'm, I'm gonna get it for the pc and that's about it for me three um yeah it was a, it was a great show on e3 though and i'm really excited for what they had to come but yeah thanks for watching guys i will talk to you later make sure to like comment and subscribe i love you all